Previously on Dream Team. So what exactly is it you want from me? 80 million pounds. You don't ask so much, do you? <laughs> to see your face. You buy a club like Harchester, you take us from nothing to being one of the biggest clubs in Europe. If the deal goes through, I'll be coming back as manager. If we drop below sixth place, that's the end of Harchester United. you got to go out there and save this club. What an astonishing match this has been at Stamford Bridge. And the fourth official, Paul Jerkin, says there'll be three minutes of stoppage time and Harchester have been on the back foot almost throughout. And they are again here. It's Mario Melchior. Oh, off the inside oh, of the post. Come on, lad. What a let off there for Harchester. Just seconds remaining. Good challenge by Presley. Now, Sullivan finding Alexander. Is there time yet for a winner here for Harchester? Curtis Alexander takes on Melchiot to find cross and Lee Presley wins the game for Harchester. What a brilliant volley and what a fantastic move. And Lee Presley is a match winner for Stuart Naismith and Harchester. What a turn up for the books at Stamford Bridge. High-flying Chelsea have been undone by a wonderful Harchester move. And there'll barely be time for Chelsea to restart. And this will be three magnificent points for Harchester. It is the goal scored by the youngster Lee Presley after a wonderful cross from Curtis Alexander and the former skipper shows his emotion Carl Fletcher and what the club means to him and the man who's taken over the captain's armband was a real hero out there Marcel Sabatier Curtis Alexander who set up the chance and Lee Presley who got the all-important goal 1-0 for Harchester Congratulations, mate! That's Jane Williams for the players and staff of Manchester United. I'm looking for Pillar. Well, she's not here. You've humiliated me once today trying to take over my team talk. You're not the manager. That's me. Carl Fletcher, a lucky mascot for the Dragons even when you're not on the pitch. You obviously did like it with that win. Yeah, yeah, of course, mate, yeah. So, can you tell us what brings you back to this country? I'm just uh, seeing my family. He's actually here to drum up investment for his old club. Carl and I are adding up a consortium to rescue the Dragons from the mess this present management has made. So you're looking to take over the club? Yeah. Uh, no, not yet. Yet again, Carl Fletcher rides to the rescue of the Dragons. What are you doing that for? Look, that win bought us another week. And you know as well as I do, there's still only one game away from dropping out of top six. Now, if your shake really is out of the picture and you still want to save this club, we have to find other money, fast. And you're the one bankable name we've got. We need to talk in private. All right, boys, save the drawing for out there. Come on, I want to see you on the coach in 10 minutes, please. Thank you, Carl. You've heard the news? Carl Fletcher and Jeff Stein are preparing a new rescue package. Well, that's good news, isn't it? Not for the two of us. The day they take over is the day you and I join the door queue. After all that you've been through, you're not going to let him take this away from you, huh? What can we do? There has to be some way of getting Carl Fletcher out of the picture. Yeah, but if we lose him, the money that he can bring, well, we've already lost the shake. What if I told you we haven't? We need to get Fletcher out of the picture. Fast. There was something. What? No, I couldn't. It destroyed people's lives. <laughs> this is not the time to develop a conscience to it. We've come so far together. Don't let Carl Fletcher spoil it now. If you have any way of stopping him.
know what? He should get a queen to invest. That would solve their problem. <laughs> the most popular family in Britain. <laughs> the queen can't take sides, man. It'll anyway, be Prince William and Aston Villa fan. I'll tell you what, though. If anyone could persuade her magic to Carl Fletcher, in fact, he'd probably get a knight and thrown into the bargain, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> What are you all doing here? The training started ten minutes ago. You should be outside warming up. Because may I remind you, until Fletch raises the best part of 100 million, this club is still potentially bankrupt. I don't approve of him telling you that just before a game yesterday. In my opinion, it's poor management. Putting that kind of burden on you. But now you know it. You still have to win every game. So let's get out there. Great, thank you, bye. Well, look forward to it, Stelios. It's very civil of you. Yeah, yes, sir. yes, sir. Simon Pegg's management. Uh, I'm afraid it's on the other line at the moment. We should have done this at my place. I've got to stop at every set of traffic lights on the way here. People just offering me money. I want you out in public. I want the people to see the graph we're putting in. And guess what? It's working. Stelios, easy, Jeff. Yeah. These people want us to fax over our proposals. And the Greeks family, you know, Doc Martin Boots, yeah. turns out to be fans of Archester all along. <laughs> Hi, we're here for a meeting with Carl Fletcher and Jeff Stein. Yes, they're in the blue room. They're expecting you. You in this meeting too? Uh, they're going to explain the new plans to us. And this time, no screw-ups. I never would have, only she told me. I'm so sorry. I thought I was giving you good advice. I had no idea His Highness would react in this way. Are Carl and Jeff offering you a better deal this time? <laughs> no, still two mil. And only when they've actually raised the cash. Well, Jeff thinks by the end of the week. <laughs> and this time, we're going to take the money and run. Get those phones, will you? I could hear them halfway down the hall. Sorry. Hodges United. It's a Mr. Karim returning your call. Put him through. Miss Hernandez? You promised His Highness a bankrupt club he could pick up for a song. One lucky win. Just delays things a little. That's not all. From what I see on the news, we've got competition. Other investors Carl Fletcher is bringing in. I can get rid of them. I promise. Do it quickly. The only reason we're still talking is because His Highness has developed a liking for you. A man like him gets hundreds of business propositions a week. And he has a notoriously short attention span. But he told me we had a deal. Come on, Miss Hernandez. You know that in business, nothing's a deal until the contracts are signed. If this takes much more than a week, my guess is my employer will have moved on to other things. That's what he does. Sandra? Yes, Miss Hernandez? Ask to amaze me to come up here when he finishes training. Tea, coffee? Thank you, no, we're fine. Forgive me for asking this, but I got the impression yesterday that you had information that might help me. And I told you I would not use that information to hurt people. Listen to me. Carl Fletcher is raising money faster than children in need. <laughs> the owners are on the brink of selling him their shares. Once that happened, you do understand. My plan would be dead in the waters. And your hopes of European football too. And you will be... Out of work. I get the picture. Hey, you gonna be good for your dad, huh? Guess what? What? Dream Inc. have agreed to stay with us next season on one condition. We name the new ground the Stadium of Dreams. Oof, corny. Well, it's no worse than the Stadium of Light. Hey, what do you reckon, little fella? Huh? He thinks his dad is as brilliant a businessman as he is a footballer. Baby, it's so good to be back. I don't know how I lasted so long without you guys. What now? 
Can I not have a moment alone with my family? I'll get it. Say goodnight to your son. All right. Hey, little fella. Hey, you proud of your dad? Sure. Yes, you are. He's fletching. Yeah, he's with Louis. Do you want me to... No. It's you I wanted to see. What's up? You know how grateful I am, everything you did with the injury. It's my job. You of all people know what I've sacrificed for the club. If your husband raises the money to take over, he's going to give himself my job. I know. The last thing I want is you losing your job. You have to talk him out of it. What? It's what he wants, and of course I'll support him. You don't understand, Abby. You must do this for me. Or? I know about you and Marcel. Abs! Hey. All right, Fletch. She's not on call 24 hours a day, Stuart. Babe, I swear, Louis just said his first words. That's the thing about kids. They may realise what's really important. Abby, have a think and get back to me, would you? Good night. What was all that about? Sleep a little bit longer, yeah? Come on, baby, another half an hour. It's gonna be meeting after meeting all day today. I just wanna enjoy you for a bit longer. Um, What's wrong? Nothing. I, I just worry about you, that's all. Worry? Why? It's going great. I'm back with my family. I'm gonna run a stake in the club I love, manager in Europe next year. All my dreams have come true. That's what scares me. Nobody's meant to have it all. What if you can't handle it? I thought my own wife would believe in me at least. <sighs> I do. But isn't the business hard enough to be getting on with? I mean, look how busy you've been. How are you supposed to run a team on top of that? I've seen what it's done to Stuart and... <sighs> look, Carl, I just... Shh. A little less conversation, please. I'm gonna get enough of that Mastelios in an hour's time. Come here, Lara. Stay behind the ball, don't get in front of the ball. Chris finishing! Stuart, lads, may I present Stelios? He's thinking about chairing the uh, Save the Dragons consortium we've got going on. Stelios, this is Stuart Naismith. Pleased to meet you, how do you do? Sorry to hear about your injury. Thank you. Fletch has been telling me about his plans for the club. It sounds expensive, but it could be very exciting. Will you be doing the co-managing? Oh, well, there's uh, a lot to be worked out just yet. Um, this is my wife, Abby Fletcher. She's the head physio here. Hello, Hello Abby. Head How are you? Hello. Nice to meet you. I understand you'll be helping Fletch uh, persuade the council tonight, huh? We are throwing a banquet for him this evening, you know, talk about a new stadium and all. Um, I don't mean to be rude, gentlemen, but we do have a game to prepare for, so... Uh, Let's get to it, lads. Perhaps you'd like to stay and watch. Sure. Yeah. Hang around, yeah. cool, cool. You having it, Fletch? What, niche shoes? You having a laugh, yeah? <laughs> He's an old man now. He ain't up to it anymore. Ooh, not bad. Bad. Obviously not hard enough. I'm not seriously threatening you with this. We're running out of time. Look at you out there just now. Playing is what you love. You're only 32. You've got another two years, maybe even three, ahead of you. There's plenty of time for managing after that. If you took it all in now, you could end up regretting it for the rest of your life. I've seen what it's done to Stuart. Babe, this isn't just any management job. It's the only one I've ever wanted. The chance might not be there in two years' time. Yeah, well, what if you try and fail? Then you'll have lost the lot. 
What's with all this doubt? I'm not doubting you. I'm just stating the facts. We were only in the top four because of Davenport's goals. Now he's gone and the team's falling apart. Why take over a club on its way down the table when you can sit back, wait for Stuart to screw up and then take over? flurry of takeover activity amongst Premiership football clubs today. Carl Fletcher attracting widespread city interest in his campaign to save his old club, Harchester United. Stelios Halianu was a visitor to the Dragons training ground this morning. I like building things from the ground up and turning Harchester into a European super club is a very exciting prospect for me. It has a great fan base and with a bit of luck and a few additions to the dressing room, we should reach Champions League this season. A surprise visitor to Everton's Goodison Park, Sheikh Abdul Al Shaziz. City analysts had been expecting him to buy into Harchester United, but Everton fans will be delighted instead. Look, Stelios is just leaving. Oh, it'd be so glamorous if he took over the club, don't you think? If I want you to come barging into my office, Sandra, I will let you know. Fletcher and Jeff are showing people around this stadium as if they own it already. I know. So, have you done whatever you're going to do? This big secret thing you will not tell me? I've done it, and I hate myself for it. Now just give it time to work. Time is something we don't have. The Sheikhs have got us in park right now, being charmed by the entire Everton board. Stop, this is getting hard if you don't. I dealt with it, all right? Stuart, Jeff, man. Oh, Kyle. I uh, hear there's a function here tonight to talk the council through your new stadium plan. Yeah. <laughs> Only I don't seem to have received my invitation. I'm sure you want the current management there to support you, along with the new team, of course. Yeah, I suppose so. See you tonight, then. Fletch, what can I do for you? Charlie, hop in. I need the way with Abby. Good enough. What do you mean? <laughs> Fletch wants to be my player coach. And what's wrong with that? He'll own shares in this new consortium, right? I suppose. So I'll be sandwiched between Fletch, who's my boss, and Fletch, who's my second in command. No one's going to take me seriously with him waiting in the winds. I'll just be keeping the seat warm. But he's the one bringing in the money. He has to get something out of it. Not at my expense. So what do you want? I want him gone. Back to Saudi Arabia. You can't do that. I can. And how am I supposed to do that? What could I possibly say? So you're going to break up my marriage, ruin my life, my son's life. How can you do this? I'm sorry. You're sorry? That's twice you betrayed my family. I'll be your son. What's happened? He said that unless I get Carl to turn in the manager's job and go back to Saudi, he's going to tell him about you and me. How the hell does he know? You told him? He said he'd seen us. How could he have seen us, you idiot? Was he in the bedroom closet? I don't know. I, I just... I'm sorry. Sorry? Jesus. What are we going to do? Where are you going? To talk to me. Marcel, no! Stuart! How dare you do this to her? Oh, don't get righteous with me, Marcel. You're the one who slept with a teammate's wife. Your best friend's wife. We made one mistake, and for this you would destroy her. I just want what's mine. Carl Fletcher's got a beautiful wife, a baby son, a town that worships the ground he walks on. He can still go out into a football pitch and play. Me, I only have my job, and I have given everything for it. I will not let him take that from me. And you think that gives you the right to do this to them? If you have any sense, you'll help her persuade him to go. Isn't that what you want anyway? Marcy, what are you still doing here? Have you seen Abby? 
Hang on. Mate, you've got to come tonight. It'd be perfect. They'd kill to have dinner with the captain as well. That's right. Yeah, the players' lounge at 8 o'clock. I'll tell you when you get there, all right? Just make sure you're looking gorgeous. See you later. I mean, you'd think Stuart would have the manners to act pleased. I mean, it's a big deal, me offering to be his number two. He should be flattered. Oh, babe. Babe, that dress is stunning. All we need now is a smile to match. Oh, come on, darling. We've got a charm planning permission out of the council and cold hard cash out of the rest of them. That'll be the babysitter. Please. Baby, don't have time. Look, I have to tidy it up. Louis could cut himself. Look, Joe can sort it, all right? I'll do it, Mr. Spector. Right, um, there's a bottle in the fridge if he wakes up. And uh, just pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Come on, darling, I'm going to be late. I think I can do this. What are you talking about? It's only dinner. No, all of this. Are you coaching or managing or whatever? You've only just come back home. You've been gone six months and now I'm hardly going to see you again. Don't be daft. You'll see me more than ever now. And this Louis. What about Louis? He's confused. He hardly even knows you. Babe, what are you saying? Maybe you shouldn't take the job at all. Any job. You could take a year off, go on a trip. Get to know each other as a family. Have you gone mad or something? Do you have any idea what it's been like for me on my own here with Louis for the past six months? But hey, if your beloved Harchester is more important to you than your own family... Who do you think I've been doing this for, if not my family? I'm sorry to ask, but uh, I'm not driving at the moment. I wanted to go grab a lift with you guys. Yeah, sure. Thanks. You okay, Abby? Look, I guess it's just a strain of being alone with a baby for so long. I should have come home more often. Look, we don't have to go to this thing if you're not up to it. Jeff can sort all that stuff out. Nothing in the world is more important to me than you and Louis. It's It feels weird to think that this might be the last time we'll be coming here. You sold already? Friday morning. Mr. Stein has been ever so nice. Even thinks he can get us an extra half a mil each. <laughs> Dean, Donna, uh -huh. glad you can make it. But if you pop over, see Nikki, she'll introduce you to the mayoress. Where the hell have you been? The babysitter was late. Sorry. Get your speech ready? Yeah. But Jeff, I'm rubbish at this sort of thing. Why can't you do it? Because uh, they've all come to be wowed by Carl Fletcher. Now come and meet everybody. Abby? I'm out. What? Can't do it. How could I do my job knowing that it costs people's happiness? No jobs with that. Marcel! Marcel! Please. Please. Um, Madam Mayor, may I present our captain, Marcel Sabatier? Pleasure. And of course, Carl Fletcher and his beautiful wife, Abigail. I'm glad you can make it. I think you'll find our plans really exciting. Exciting as your football? Oh. Lucky woman, such a talented husband. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm sorry, could you excuse me, please? Yeah, uh, abs. Oh, well. 
자. 아비, you okay? I'm fine. Would you like me to fetch Carl? No. Here, I find that covers anything. Thanks. It's just, um, man. Must be tough having your husband turn up out of the blue. With him still around. Oh, what do you mean? I think you know. No, I don't. <laughs> you don't have to pretend with me, Abby. Stuart's been spreading his lies then, hasn't he? Why would you think that? Hey, come down. Abby, look. I take it all back. I won't tell him. I give him my word. If you think this will just make me forgive and forget, I've been to hell and back the past 24 hours. Regenerate this used land and create. So, just gonna have my speech. It's not really my thing, you know. Best to get it over with as fast as possible, I find. Why don't you go on in? I get the waiters to stop serving and rounding up your audience. Hmm? Thanks. So sorry. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> I think that's a lot. Thanks. There you are. It's all. My God, I'm sure they're gonna love it. Cheers. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> the Stadium of Dreams will bring in thousands of new jobs to the area and regenerate this year's land, as well as uh, create a real national landmark in the heart of the Midlands, you know? Regretting it for the rest of your life. I've seen what it's done to Stuart. Stuart. Um, um. Abby, have a thing and get back to me, would you? Not, not to mention a contender for. Uh... Nobody's meant to have it all. Sorry, sorry. Um, I've seen what it's done to Stuart. A, a place to host games for any future England FA Cup bid. Tell them about the housing plans. Yeah. Uh, the surrounding land can also be used to build brand new houses for families and, um... Okay, Abby. How long was I gone, eh? A week? A month? Carl, don't. How long before you slept with her? You've got it all wrong. I can't believe I never saw it. It's been Stuart this, Stuart that ever since I got back. On and on about what a great manager you are. Are you a great lover as well, are you? No. Let him go. Huh? How long have you been sleeping with my wife? It wasn't him! If you're gonna hit someone, it should be me. So what was it like, sleeping with my wife? Come on, was it fun? Was it good? Brag about it to the rest of the lads, did you? No. It's you she loves. So that's supposed to make it all right, is it? I can never look at her or touch her without thinking of you. 
I asked you to look after her. I trusted you. I, I, I don't know how it happened. But it did. Who started it? Answer me! Who made the first move? I did. I was lonely. Months and months by myself looking after your son and you never even came! I couldn't! You don't know what it's like for me out there. I was their pet footballer! Uncle, 24-7. And you couldn't even pick up a phone! On Christmas Day! So are you sleeping with him? It's my fault! I never said that! Don't you think that I was lonely out there in the desert? Don't you think that I had temptations as well? Huh? It was on the plate there for me if I wanted it. All those expat nurses and those bored diplomats' wives, they all had bets who could shag me first! But you know what? Okay? It never crossed my mind once. Because to me, to me, if you really love someone, you don't want anyone else. I guess this means you never really loved me in the first place. I did. I do. Fletch, it was a mistake. A mistake? What kind of word's that, man? Huh? You don't make love to someone by accident. You have to actually... <laughs> I want to st stop talking about this now. I want it over. You go home, pack your things, and get out. Fletch, it isn't your house anymore. Shut up! If you won't go, fine. I'll go. She's all yours. Okay? Go away! Go, please, wait! Looks like you got what you wanted. And what you deserved. How did you find out? About you and Marcel? That's in the way you look at him. I meant the two of them. He was behaving like a lovesick teenager. I thought you were the cause. Turns out I had the wrong woman. You think he loves her? As far as the club is concerned, your plan B would better work, whatever it is. I don't think the investors will be coming back. I don't know how much longer the team can hold on. Don't ever ask me to do anything like that again. I don't believe what's just happened. All right. Thank God we've still got Lee, because that club is finished. Pilar's welcome to it. Jeff, don't say that. I mean it, Nicky. Fletch, where's Abby? Where's my son? He's upstairs. He's asleep. We're both really sorry. Do you know where she keeps his stuff? Huh? What are you doing? You can't just take him. Just watch me. Nikki. 
Let me drive you home. No, I'll get a taxi. I know you mean well, Marcel, but leave me alone. Bitch! You wrecked my marriage! What the fuck are you talking about? That? Don't lie! You put Stuart up to it! He's so besotted with you, he'd do any damn thing you told him to. Just explain to me why. Why invite my husband back here? Why ask him to save the club and then destroy him when he succeeds? Your husband did out to cut me out. He preferred that washed up con man Jeff Stein. And you know what? Together they would have run the club into the ground anyway! You really care enough about your job to wreck people's lives over it? What a sad, warped excuse for a human being you are. I hope your career keeps you warm at night. Because I bet no one else will. Well, look, if he checks in, can you call me back on this number, please? Thank you. Not the Grange or the Marina Grand. Where else would he go? I don't know, love. Anything else, Abby? Hey, are you okay? Do you want anything? Tea, coffee, brandy? No, thanks. Abby, Fletch was here. Why did he? I'm so sorry. Yesterday I had it all. No, wrong. I just didn't know what I'd lost. I really, really love this club. I wanted to uh, sit here and watch you score your first goal. Stadium of Dreams. <laughs> Not anymore, eh? What are you doing up this time in the morning? Oh, I couldn't sleep. How's Abby? <sighs> Crying her eyes out. Fletcher's taking the kid and done a runner. Oh, Jesus. Look, uh, why don't you go in and see her? She probably wants to be by herself. Well, Nicky's in there anyway. Look, go on, Stuart. I'm not much cop when it comes to women crying, you know. I'll see you later. Stuart's here to see you. Abby. I'm so sorry. What's he doing here? I thought... Oh, please. How dare you come into my house? I, I just wanted to tell you how sorry I am. I didn't tell him. Pilar obviously found some way to do that, but... I'm sorry for my part in it. Well, if it's forgiveness you're looking for, you've come to the wrong place. I hate her, but I despise you. I'll go look for him if you want. 
You forced him to bring the baby back. You know what I want? I want you to get out of my house now. Gotcha. Go away, Jim. That little lad, he catches death out, yeah? Why don't we go home, mate? Eh? I haven't got a home to go to anymore. Come on, Fletch. Quit the self-pity. You're not the first husband to be cheated on. It happens every day of the week. Not to me, it doesn't. Oh. So this is about your pride, eh? It's not just your marriage, you reckon, here, son. What about this club? You. You could have saved them. And now you're just going to let them go under? Not my problem anymore. The second rescue bid in as many weeks for the troubled Harchester United appears to have come to nothing. Stelios Haji Yonu's Easy.com have announced that they have no plans to acquire shares. It's rumoured that inter-management wranglings are to blame for his loss of interest and he's likely to take his fortune elsewhere. Meanwhile, electronics giant Dream Inc, who had been expected to invest in a new super stadium for the club, say that they are transferring all their sponsorship to the Spanish League. With the Dragons around around 60 million in debt, the club's future looks bleak. Rough night. Coffee strong, lots of it. Pila Hernandez's office. Is that Mr. Karim again? Mr. Karim, I told you I could make the competition disappear. I hope we still have a deal. Abby, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I tried to reason with him. Why is he leaving? There's a flight. Emirates from East Midlands. Can you drive me? Abby, don't put yourself through this again, darling. I don't think he's going to change his mind. Jeff, let go. You already have. I know. And I have never regretted anything so much in my entire life. It meant nothing. And I know that's not an excuse, but I would do anything to make it up to you. Please. You, me, Louis, it's all I could have ever wanted. We could just go away. The three of us. I've given him back to Linda. No. This is my whole life. It was my life too. <laughs> you know, I never love anyone the way I love you. Anna.
Coming soon on Dream Team. His Highness needs us to go bankrupt before he can buy us out. We must lose the Leicester game. You're a football manager. You picked the team. Just tell him he's dropped. I'm telling you, Stuart is going to throw the Leicester game. No, what I'm saying is I need proof. Over on Sky Travel at 6 tonight, Tsunami, the aftermath, revisits the islands worst hit by 2004's Boxing Day disaster. Then at 9, the premiere, Killer Quake.